Last year's NRM primaries ahead of this year's general elections were the most heated in the history of election exercise. This is where people lined behind their candidates, something that the civil society had contested, saying it would undermine the secrecy which is a crucial fiber of the democratic processes. Some of the candidates who did not make it during the primaries accused the ruling party electoral commission of sidelining them. However, addressing the media today, the chairperson of NRM electoral commission, Dr. Fred Tanga Odoi, said that there was evidence that the primaries were free and fair. A total of 2,171 NRM members participated in NRM primaries for parliamentary positions in 2020. Of the 2,171, 501 claimed that the primaries were not free and fair. Only 25 candidates have won in the constituency. Despite the NRM having declined in the number of MPs sent to the House, compared to the previous elections, Dr. Tango Doi says the ruling party still has an upper hand in controlling some of the motions and key decisions in the House. In a total of 515 parliamentary seats which have failed, the NRM won 331 seats, indicating 64%. That's not a mean achievement. The NRM can run the House without other political players. There have been some narratives that the new crop of MPs from the ruling party might not fit in the same shoes of the previous parliaments in terms of debate. About Noop having the best quality. If the best quality is Honorable Segrinya, then Noop has the best quality. If you put that candidate against Jacob Olanya, against Rebecca Kadaga of NRM, against Oboth Oboth, against Fox Odoi, against Max Ochai, against ladies who are in that parliament by whims like Cecilia Gual of FDC, and they debate from when the hens get out of the bed up to when the hens go to sleep, and you say they are high quality compared to those other ones I've mentioned, amongst others, I shudder. The NRM Secretariat wants all MPs who lost the election and would like to petition court to gather their evidence before the legal team renders them support. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.